And that's sort of the hard thing about having a fight is that when you've got something, you know, scheduled and it's a month away or a week away, it's like, it's hard to, to take um, refuge in, in the present moment and, and to really enjoy your breath and, and to enjoy, you know, the food that you're eating and enjoy your friend's company and because there's this thing hanging over your head that in uh, a couple of days, you know, you're going to go to war. And uh, so that's really a struggle and, and a challenge is, is just to, you know, to continue to be grateful for the present moment and continue to be present and, and uh, to appreciate, you know, the beautiful sunshine outside and, uh, you, know, every, you know, appreciate everything, all the little things. You know, I like to, before I go into a fight, you know, I, I pretty much pack everything up, you know, and get uh, all my affairs in order and say my, say my goodbyes. Right. I mean, it sounds ridiculous. No, you know, it's, it's just a sport, you know, it's not, it's not life or death. But um, the way that I approach things, I, I really only know how to do things 100%. Um, what I started out in was wrestling, and, and in wrestling, the object's not to hurt your opponent, the object's to control your opponent. And because of that, it's, it's one of the most effective bases for mixed martial arts, which is a sport that I compete in now. But the deal, because wrestling, because the object is not to damage, it's just to control. Wrestlers practice live or, or full contact or 100% every day because all, all you're really doing is, is taking the person down and controlling them. In, uh, in other martial arts, you know, Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu, boxing, anything like that, the, um, the ultimate goal, you know, in boxing is to knock the opponent out. Well, so when you're training with your sparring partners, you, you're not really trying to knock them out in training. And, uh, you know, in Jiu Jitsu, the object is, is to submit the opponent, to, to break their limbs or, or to choke them unconscious. And it's like, when you're training with a partner, you know, you, you'll take their arm to the point where they'll tap and they'll say, okay, you had it, but, you know, you didn't really break it, you know, you right. didn't really take it all the way, but in wrestling, you know, it's 100%, you're just trying to take them down and hold them down, it's not, it's not meant to hurt, um, it's just meant to control, and, and that's the background that I came up from, that I started with, and so, the only, th only way I've ever really learned how to do things is 100%, you know, is, is go, you know, give it everything you got, um, and I think that's, you know, that's one of my sort of beliefs about life is that that's the most important thing. It's like all it takes is all you got. You can't ask for more than that. And, uh, you know, as a coach, I coached high school wrestling in Colorado. And uh, I coached in middle school uh, down at Paul Revere over in the Palisades. And it's like I never, you know, get upset at a kid for losing or, uh, you know, anything like that. But, but I'll, I'll be real upset if a kid quits on me mm -hmm. or, uh, or quits on himself. You know, and uh, because all it takes is all you got, you give it all you got. There's nothing, no regrets, there's no hindsight, you did everything you could.